Hello, and welcome to this course. My name is Alexandra, and I'm a learning designer at Open Classrooms. My job is to help make complex concepts easier to understand and learn. For the past few years, I've been focusing on all things data and artificial intelligence related. When I first started learning about these concepts, everything seemed daunting. But as I progressed in my learning journey, I started to feel more empowered, confident, and determined to help others feel the same way. This is why I'm here today, to help you through your learning journey in artificial intelligence. Together, with the help of renowned experts in the field, we will discover what AI really is, how it's affecting our lives, and how it actually works. To begin our exploration of artificial intelligence, let's hear from Yann Lequin. He's the chief AI scientist at Facebook, a professor at New York University, and one of the most influential researchers in the field of AI. Yann will shed some light on what AI is all about, how it's impacting our lives today, and how it will impact our lives in the future. Yann, take it away. AI is an attempt at trying to get machines to do things that we normally attribute to humans and animals, which means perceive, reason, and act, and hopefully intelligently. And there's been attempts at this for the last 60 years. Uh, there's been a lot of progress over the last 10 years or so, which is why we hear about it now. You know, we call it artificial intelligence, but a lot of what those, those systems do is not really intelligent in the sense that they don't have the kind of intelligence that we observe in, in humans, but even in animals. So um, the, the most intelligent computer systems uh, uh, today have less common sense than your cat, for example. But they are very good at very kind of specialized uh, tasks. So for certain tasks, like you know, playing certain games, uh, Go or chess or, or things like, uh, like poker, uh, they can beat any human. They can recognize uh, obscure species of plants from, a, from, from an image, from a single picture, which most humans can't do. Of course, when you play chess against a computer or other games, uh, that's AI. But there is like the more recent version of AI where um, the AI systems kind of learn to understand text, translate speech into text, or understand the content of an image. You can now type a question on, on Google, let's say, and Google would directly answer the question. It will not point you to a website that answers the question. It will just answer the question. And probably the most visible application is emergency automatic braking systems for cars that detect obstacles and basically can drive your car on the highway automatically. Those things reduce collisions by 40%, which means they really save lives. So the future of AI, of course, we can't completely invent it today, but um, I would I would mention a few things. First, uh, virtual assistants that will uh, accompany us everywhere we go. They will reside in our augmented reality glasses, in our watches or mobile devices. If you've seen the movie Her, that's a pretty good description of what could possibly be a, a potential future with uh, intelligent systems. Then there is erasing cultural barriers. So uh, I work at Facebook and Facebook is, you know, main purpose is to connect people with each other. So things like translation will allow people to uh, just speak something in their own language and, and then this will be automatically translated. And then AI is actually uh, having a huge impact on the progress of science. In chemistry, it's particularly important because this may help us solve partially the climate change problem. A solution to climate change would be to produce hydrogen from water using solar energy, for example. And that requires inventing new chemical compounds that can facilitate this chemical reaction. AI may help in doing this. There's actually already projects along those lines today. As Yan said, artificial intelligence is our attempt to have machines perceive, reason, and act, just like humans and animals. To better understand how AI impacts you, take some time to read the text below, and we'll meet again in the next chapter.